sunshine spot over the oh, downtown yeah. the city there. It's just gorgeous. It looks beautiful out right now. Uh, so that's what we're trying to do, catch these sun breaks in between showers. And this regime is basically what we're going to see for the rest of this work week, then again on Sunday and again on Monday with a nice day Saturday kind of squeezed in the middle there. Temperatures are going down, though, and so we are going to have to watch out uh, for occasionally seeing that rain snow mix for some of the lower elevations, especially in the late night hours and the early mornings. But the good news is most of the showers are really holding off until the afternoon when temperatures are plenty warm enough not to cause any problems. The other thing we're going to be watching out for, fog. Uh, this morning, dense fog advisors in effect, and we have fog up and down the valley into wine country, too. This is from our Stoller Estates uh, camera there, and then it was beautiful once that fog cleared out. Look at some of the sunshine, the blue skies. There you go with showers rolling in, back to the blue sky, and uh, here we are right now, and you can still see some sunshine trying to peek through uh, here and there as we break up those showers. Coastal areas seeing on and off showers, too. Uh, this is a view from Lincoln City, and you can see the sun getting ready to go down there. A gorgeous view there. And then from Vancouver, our Riverview Community Bank camera showing a nice little uh, blue spot in the sky there as well. 43 degrees, northwest winds coming in at 7. It feels like it's 39, and temperatures will continue to drop tonight. So get ready for a chilly one. Uh, overnight lows last night were down to the freezing mark for many of us, and we'll see that happen again tonight. Out there right now, we're in the low 40s from Astoria to Cannon Beach, Lincoln City. Uh, you get into the valley, Vancouver, Portland, low to mid 40s, 27 at Government Camp, and then in the mid to upper 40s as you head into uh, the gorge. So temperatures on the west side were mainly in the upper 30s, 36 though already in West Lynn. And then as you head east, temperatures for the most part in the upper 30s with the cold spot right now, Happy Valley at only 35 degrees. So temperatures continue to drop again. That means we'll see that potential for a few snowflakes to make their way all the way to the valley floor with those cold temperatures persisting. Out there right now, just talking rain, though, from Lake Oswego back to Oregon City. Some of these showers on the heavy side, Redland and just south of Damascus. This is all working its way away from downtown Portland. A few more showers popping up just west of Hillsboro and North Plains will likely sweep through P Hillsboro here in the next few minutes and eventually Cedar Mill and perhaps into Portland, too, as we head through the next half hour to 45 minutes. So shower chances lingering for the next few hours. Down south, Turner to Silverton, and down towards Jefferson, dealing with some showers as well. So shower chances linger for the next several hours, and then for the rest of the night, it's just going to be cloudy and mainly dry. Temperatures quickly into the mid-30s by midnight with lows tonight down to 31 degrees, and then we're watching for shower chances again and that potential for some fog early in the morning. So here's your forecast hour by hour, 31 when we wake up, mostly cloudy, watching for fog. And then going into the afternoon, better chances for showers, but at that point, temperatures are warm enough that it would just all be in the liquid form again, uh, battling on and off showers again tomorrow. So everything's winding down tonight. Tomorrow morning, uh, we'll have that slight chance for a shower, but I don't think we'll see much in the morning. Here we are at 3, 3.30 again, just like today. Those showers popping up, rolling on through. And then later tomorrow night into early Friday morning, a better chance to get some morning showers going. Temperatures at the freezing mark, and so this is where we're going to have to watch really closely. Friday morning, that commute for the potential for some snow uh, to mix in. Not looking for any accumulations at the valley surface, but of course, as you get up into the hills, we may see a little dusting from that. Anything that did try to stick to the ground wouldn't be lingering for long as temperatures go up into the 40s, and then we're back to just plain rain showers Friday afternoon. And of course, all this is going to translate to snow for the mountains. So your forecast for Thursday, highs in the low to mid 40s, then back down to the freezing mark tomorrow night. Temperatures in the low to mid 30s for central and eastern Oregon. And here's your seven-day forecast, a nice little bright spot on the seven day and that's on Saturday. Sunshine and highs in the upper 40s, but unsettled weather outside of that. So again, best chances for any rain or snow for our area would be early Friday morning, probably not sticking, uh, very slight risk of that. And if it did, it may last for an hour before it's melted. And then going into early next week, the cold lingers, so we may still see that potential for a rain snow mix again Monday and Tuesday morning. We'll watch it closely, but okay. nothing to be too worried about, but you definitely want to keep it on the radar. At the moment, Things are nice. Nice little sun break. Uh, out by the there. way, some of the forecasters back home in Minnesota are calling for maybe 20 inches of snow on Friday. Oh, so yeah, there's always <laughs> it could be like worse. exactly. Well, we've had more. Snow. The grass is greener. We've had more snow than Minnesota. You have, so yeah, far. or we have, yeah, because it's just it's been an incredible winter here. And oh. I just talked to my mom today, and they said we just haven't had much of a winter. This yeah, year. they're overdue. Let's send so, it that way. We're sending it, it out yeah, that we'll way, right? <laughs> Coming up next at five, we have some new details.